Hi guys, it's Darla. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I do during quarantine. I don't really have a routine. Everything's kind of, all the days have been like molding into one, so I don't really care to have a um, routine. I should for my own health, but it's kind of fun to just be like doing whatever I want whenever I want because I have no like scheduled things to answer to so i mean i have one scheduled thing and that's like church on sundays with my family but other than that i'm perfectly fine and with just doing whatever i don't have a schedule and i was my sleeping schedule has gone to poop today i'm just going to be showing you what it's like to be a senior in quarantine senioritis quarantine they don't mix very well you'll see that in a second so yeah if you didn't know i'm a senior in high school i can probably talk about what it's like to be a senior um and getting all that stuff taken away the end of the video so i just got done doing a paint by numbers my sister actually sent this to me a couple of days ago well she sent it forever ago it just arrived a couple of days ago okay so here's me working on that paint by numbers i was telling you about it's actually a really fun way to kill time and it lets you pretend that you're artsy even though you have no type of creativity. I personally like doing it while I'm listening to music because it's just more relaxing that way. Also, it helps me discover new music. Don't be fooled because the amount of work that I'm showing you right now took about 30 minutes. Okay, so I finished watching Outer Banks and I finished the whole season. There's only one season and <laughs> in case you're curious, it's on Netflix. I'm actually thinking about doing a what I watched over quarantine video. So look out for that. I'm actually gonna write it out and plan it right now. That's um, that's another thing I've been doing over quarantine is um, I have this notebook that I keep all my video ideas in. This is just a few examples. Ever since quarantine started, I haven't been filming much because I've been trying to finish my classes first. Um, but now that I'm pretty much done with school, I've been getting on a roll of like filming. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna write out this video idea. Like I said, it's gonna be what I watched over quarantine. This six-page essay is due tomorrow. Another thing that I've been doing during quarantine is sitting outside on this hammock. Southern California has been hit with two heat waves since quarantine started, so I like sitting outside later in the day under these trees to cool down. What I usually do is I'll watch shows or just listen to music or sometimes I'll take a nap. So I just got done editing that first half of the video that you just saw and I noticed that I was talking really slow. I get that and I'm sorry because I'm just trying to get used to talking to the camera again after taking such a long break. What I didn't show in that half of the video was me doing work. I still am trying to finish my classes and I'll also go ahead and like scroll through my social media like every other teenager. I go through a cycle of Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and Twitter. That's what I've been doing over quarantine. Now let's talk about what it feels like to be in quarantine, especially as a high school senior. I'm gonna ramble about this, but you have to keep in mind that I do know, and everyone should know, there is something bigger going on, and I'm not sharing how I feel about losing all the senior stuff, because I'm being ignorant to what's happening. That's the whole point of the video, was for me to share how I feel about pretty much the experiences that I'm missing out. So if you don't know, I live in Southern California, most specifically Los Angeles. Hi, this is the part where I tell you why living in Los Angeles right now sucks. Why? Because no one is really telling us when these stay-at-home orders are going to be lifted. I mean, look at these headlines. They are so vague. I get this is about safety, so I guess there's nothing to do but chill at home for now. So the outcome of that, um, my school canceled graduation. Well, not really. My school is doing a virtual graduation. I'm not happy about that. A lot of people aren't. I was actually excited to cry on the football field. That's just, that sounds so weird that I want to cry, but I'm saying I'm I'm just telling you I'm a very sentimental person, and that was like a milestone that I kind of was really expecting to go through. 
prom was supposed to be, I think, a month. Yeah, pretty much a month ago. I was very excited for prom, like every other girl senior. And some boy seniors are very into prom. But I didn't even get to buy my prom dress. So in a way, it didn't affect me as much because I didn't spend all that money. Definitely, if that money went to waste, I probably would have cried about prom. But I went to all four of my homecoming dances. And prom is definitely on a different level than homecoming. Really, Darla? Was prom really on a different level? You wouldn't know. But I still went to my high school dances that I could go to, so it wasn't really a waste. And missing this one, it kind of hurts, but the fact that I didn't waste money on a dress, and I'm pretty proud of that, balances it out. The last senior thing that I want to talk about is senioritis and quarantine. Good lord, I had senioritis before quarantine even started imagine in quarantine my course load this year was not that hard because i only had four classes ap calc ap physics regular english and regular economics the college board actually told us that they're only testing 75 percent of what we learned this semester so my school decided to cut off the last 75 percent out and i was already pretty much at 75 percent so i'm done with my ap classes period my econ class that that was a really easy class it's all it's all pretty much like simple questions i have to answer to as i go through the lessons so i'm pretty much done with that class and my english class oh that's a different story because i hate writing i hate writing essays i hate writing short stories that is what i'm procrastinating and putting all my senioritis energy on but i'm almost done with that too it's not that bad if pain had a face another decision that my school like really on point did was i took out final exams i couldn't be more happy because in my program the final exam can actually knock your average down for the entire semester so that's basically it other than losing all the milestones my quarantine is just like everyone else's the thing about quarantine is that it's actually really nice because it's kind of like resetting my brain before i jump into college i can go from high school into college with my brain fresh but it's not like taking a gap year because my momentum wasn't thrown off so that's basically it thank you so much for watching my video if you liked watching a high school senior rant please like if you had any comments advice about how to deal with um la extending their quarantine please comment that down below if you want to check out the other videos on my channel if you like the content that i'm making hit that subscribe button there will be more coming. So yeah, thank you. Bye.